Uh, I am Sister Mary Runyolo, the administrator of St. Kizito Baby's Home. St. Kizito Baby's Home is a private institution founded by the Catholic Archdiocese of Tororo. The Archbishop of Tororo at the moment is the Right Reverend Bishop Emmanuel Obo of the Apostle of Jesus. This home was founded to take care of the needy, orphaned, and abandoned children aged between one day old up to three years, after which then they are settled with the relatives uh, in the case of the orphans. But those ones who are abandoned, we try to find them a, a, a parent or parents who can take care of their needs as their own children. The challenges that we have here, because this institution is a private home, is resources to look after the children, like feeding, uh, taking care of their medical bills, uh, shelter, and all that they need to grow up as human beings and even try to support them with education where we can and where it is necessary. And that is why... Okay, I'm um, Tua Irene. I'm the social worker of the home. Uh, basically what we do here, we do admit new babies. Uh, we also do home visitations for the children that are here. Once the children are three years, we take them back to their families. And this means we have to do follow-ups. Uh, but to the home, this is a challenge because we don't have fun stories monitor the children. And we also have an old pickup that breaks down most of the time and needs repairs. So we are requesting for people to come in and support the portrait project so that maybe you can have sustainable income to run the work of the home. Um, Sister Merencia Awiaga, I work in St. Kizito Baby's home as a nurse. And where I'm standing, this is the room where we treat babies before we try take them to the hospital. Like uh, cases which we can manage, we treat from here, like malaria, we first take blood and we test. If the child is having malaria positive, then we treat with the coatum and the panadol syrup. And if there's no improvement, then we take the child to the hospital. Then sometimes we get cases like pneumonia, severe pneumonia. Those ones we take straight away to the hospital. And we look for a mother, one of the mothers, take them to the hospital to stay with the baby. And it is rather expensive where we take these babies. And there are some cases like diarrhea and vomiting, although not uh, very common, but while in, uh, in, uh, once in a while, we get them, then also take these babies to the hospital to get IV drips and so forth. So they also some, take some days. So. We need a mother to go and stay with this child. Then we get, we have some cases who are suffering from HIV positive, and these cases, we always take them to the doctors to see them, they take blood, they are on special treatment. So every time we go and collect this medicine once in a month, and also for doctors to review them, and of course, taking them, you need a means of transport to take the children to the hospital. And then also the medicine we use, we have to buy ourselves. We don't get anywhere. So it is rather expensive mm, for these cases here. So, so far we are uh, trying, but it is not easy. Yes. Again, I am again Sister Merencia. 
And we're again in the babies, infant section. These are the babies who are very young. And the one here. Some are about two years, but they have a problem with the cerebral palsy. They can't do anything by themselves. So we keep them a bit longer here to observe until they can eat. And then we take them to the other section. And uh, there are some to feed her. And that one also needs to help. And she's uh, very expensive. Whenever we go to the hospital, she's uh, to go in the Manamujimu section where we take care of those babies. And then we take mothers to stay there. Sometimes they can stay for a month, which is very expensive. Then you are uh, the one to take care of the mother and the sick child. So, she's in bed now, lying in bed. This is the toddler section. Uh, children are about, about one year and a half. They are seated here with their caregiver, Miss Monica. Aruka and uh, they stay at home and uh, they play and uh, make sure that the mother makes sure that they are uh, kept busy. And these are the children as you see they are growing, they need to eat well, they need to dress well. And in order to eat well, we must have a source where we can uh, get. Uh, food or money to buy for them what they need. Uh, things like eggs, milk are very important of the their diet in order for them to grow very well. The rest are not here, they have gone to attend the nursery school and they only come back after classes at the midday. Little baby's home, uh, we, are, we enroll them in the school to get some knowledge before they are, uh, they are taken to their guardians or their, their relatives. So they stay with us, most of them join baby class, then after three years they are taken. That's enough. This is an area where we want to put an extension to the poultry. On my right side here is a small house we have been using as a poultry, but it can hold only 250 at most. So we want to extend this one from this house there up to there so that at least we can have about a hundred one thousand birds that can uh, we can sell and get resources to look after the children and that will help us to continue with those we are keeping the poultry after we sell then we, br we bring new ones like that so that we can continue getting at least money to keep on helping the children. 
We are grateful for those who bring us uh, material things, but those things have an end. But if we have this one project of poultry, it's going to continue for years. And therefore, other needs that we, we need, they will come from these resources of uh, chicken, or whether it be broilers or eggs afterwards, we are sure that we have a reliable source of income. Bye, it's an good day. We go back to class. Let's go. <laughs>